135. That's how many arguments the average couple will have every single year. That's a lot. But our next guest says she has the secret to stopping any fight in its tracks. Relationship expert Melissa Ferrari joins us now to explain. Melissa, most couples have arguments every now and then. That's a big figure, though, 135. I actually thought that was low. I thought that was... Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> did you? I, did, I thought... I, I reckon a lot of people would have arguments, tips. Are we talking little tips or are we talking, like, full-blown arguments? And are we hardwired to fight? We are hardwired to protect ourselves. And so when we're protecting ourselves, we're always scanning the environment. It's a little part of the brain called the amygdala, and it's always scanning the environment for safety and security. It's like the lizard part of our brain. Yeah, brain, it's the it? lower part where it searches the environment to make sure that everything's all okay. And what can spark that off sometime in a relationship is tone, words, facial expressions and jerky movements like slamming doors and slamming Body colours. language. Yeah, try it. Okay. So conflict is natural in any romantic relationship, but what are some of the main causes for blow-ups? Well, people argue in relationships about mainly about time, sex, money. Is it time for sex? Children. <laughs> and is it going to cost me? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> and often those are the surface kind of things that people do argue about. But quite often it's about bids for connection as well. Oh, so you're and looking hey, for attention. That's right. Yeah, you're okay. looking for your partner. You're looking to check out, are we all good? Yeah. Is everything okay with us? Mm -hmm. And so you're always scanning the environment very quietly for those kind of cues. So when couples argue, it's really good to be aware that that part of the brain is in operation and it's out of our control. So you say there are some key phrases that we can use to actually shut this down. When an argument starts to really escalate, what can we... Is it, are they random phrases like fire or <laughs> anything like that? Or? Well, it can be things like the same tenderness and gentleness that we use with a child. It's great to use it with your partner. Mm -hmm. You can say things like, you mean too much to me for us to be doing this. Mm. Let's take a break. Or, I love you. You are my world. Let's stop this and not do it and come back to well, it later. Well, it's just so hard to, when you're in the middle of a fight with someone to say, you are my world. <laughs> <And> <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's so true, Sonia. And what I'm talking about, this is real consciousness. You know, mindfulness, tenderness, care. And it's something that really couples need to start to do, in my opinion, mm. to put the relationship first. But what if it doesn't calm down? What if you're like, you're my world! I love you! <laughs> and nothing's happening. So what do we do then? OK, well, take time out. Separate right. for a little Move while. Away. Calm down. The nervous system needs some regulating. So calm down. Do whatever you like. Walk, meditate. Write things down. Sometimes you can write things down and get it out. If later you two are doing okay, you can go back and maybe share it with your couple or with your partner, mm -hmm. but you must make sure things are okay. Or seek a couple therapist. Nowadays, couple therapist, I know for myself, I'm trained in the psychobiological approach to couple therapy. I love with, couple therapy, it's great. Yeah, great. And the one that I'm trained in is really quite fun and dynamic, mm. and that's the one that Sassy. I use. And it's the basis of all of this. The Ferrari method. <laughs> yeah, I like all that. All about <laughs> Melissa. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you. you.